For this chicken and rice soup recipe, I'm going to be using the slow cooker just because I can go ahead and have it cook and um, put it away and not really have to worry. So it's going to cook on high for four hours, but if you're going to cook it for a longer period of time, you could just put it for low and cook it for eight hours. So here I have four cups of low sodium chicken broth, followed by uh, two cups of water. And then I cut up a cup of celery. You could add any veggies you like, but these are some of my favorites. And then I have some um, carrots, about two cups of cut carrots. Now you can get the ones I already cut, but um, I use the large carrots. Uh, I like those because I feel like they have a lot more flavor in comparison to the, to the smaller mini ones. Um, but I have two cups there. And then uh, you can use white rice or brown rice. Um, but I have white rice here and it's about three-fourths of a cup and I did uh, go ahead and rinse it off to get kind of that excess starch out and make sure that it was free of dirt. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and it's uncooked rice. I have a cup of uh, yellow onion that's diced. And then I also have here um, some a uh, teaspoon of uh, ground black pepper and then one and a half teaspoons of uh, garlic powder. And then finally, I'm gonna go ahead and add, I have about a pound of boneless, uh, skinless chicken breast, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that in there, okay? And like I said, I'm gonna put the lid on there. I'm gonna cook it on high, so it's gonna cook for about four hours. Okay, so now it's been, um, the soup's been cooking in the slow cooker for about four hours on high heat. So what I'm going to do next is take out the chicken because if you remember, I just kind of stuck the chicken in there and I didn't really cut it up. So what I'm going to want to do is now that it's tender, I'm going to take it out and I'm just kind of going to shred it a little bit with a fork. Um, and as you can see, it like easily just kind of uh, comes apart. So now that I have all my chicken shredded, I'm just going to go ahead and place it back into the uh, slow cooker. Go ahead and take the three ounces of uh, Neufchatel, or if you want to use low-fat cream cheese, uh, and then just kind of stick a little bit of that in there. This will help the soup come out um, creamy. So now that the cheese is all melted, I'm going to go ahead and serve some. See how creamy it is, and it made so much. I, very little effort. Mm -hmm.